Black Lives Matter, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain and how it's being manipulated by the elite powers. Stick around. Black Lives Matter, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, I don't disagree with the idea. I, I believe all lives matter, which is apparently a racist thing to say because apparently believing in the value of all human life is now racist. I don't see how that adds up, but apparently that's the, uh, that's the mantra that's being preached around social media. But Black Lives Matter uh, is this movement that's um, obviously a, a real cause celebre at the moment. The Black Lives Matter movement is being uh, manipulated by the Democratic Party and the globalists um, as a kind of racial division agenda, uh, obviously leading up to the election of Donald Trump in 2020. Um, um, Candace Owens is a really great figure uh, who is an African-American um, commentator who speaks about how you know, the Democratic Party has been manipulating race um, for many years. And uh, she's someone whose videos you should definitely check out. Um, you know, basically what they're getting to do is they're trying to get poor black people to fight with poor white people. Uh, and, and then hopefully from this chaos, they hope to elect Joe Biden as a kind of, I guess, a centrist left kind of um, candidate. And, you know, what they're doing right now is they're ladling on the chaos. And, you know, obviously um, what's amazing about the Black Lives Matter movement is they, they apparently... Um, purport to um, support uh, uh, the value of black lives, which is a good, a noble uh, cause. But, you know, for example, in Chicago, every weekend, I mean, for example, recently in Chicago, there were 50 deaths in Chicago. Uh, and they were African-American deaths at the hands of other African-Americans. And you didn't see a word about this in American media. And so, you know, there is a huge amount of uh, bullshit that's being ladled on at the moment by media. And they only seem to be interested in, in a black death at the moment, anywhere in the world, really, if it's at the hands of a white person, because this is part of the elite's division agenda that they believe will defeat Trump, you know, and derail Brexit and God knows what. And also the, these protests, these Black Lives Matter protests have spread globally. We're seeing protests in London where they're knocking down statues of, um, uh, of or oh, they're trying to knock down Winston Churchill's statue, which doesn't make any sense at all. They're obviously trying to knock down Captain Cook's statue, statue locally. So, you know, it's just a, a terrible state of affairs. So Black Lives Matter is a form of manipulation. Um, where they're attempting to, uh, you know, basically, it's actually the old um, divide and conquer agenda of the British Empire that the globalists obviously have um, examined and thought, this is a good idea, we'll try this ourselves and we'll try and launch it back on uh, Western civilization. And to some extent it's working. That's why I think, you know, it's kind of a very strange state of affairs right now. I mean, for example, all my friends on the right and even the far right are all, you know, kind of like uh, calling for calm, calling for everyone to calm down and kind of brotherly love. People are posting kind of hippie-like memes on the right and the far right. And everyone on the left is, is screaming for a race war like they're a member of the Ku Klux Klan. It's utterly insane out there in social media at the moment. I'm sure you've noticed it. So I just wanted to comment on that. And I just think it's ridiculous. I think this Black Lives Matter movement is being ruthlessly uh, manipulated by the elite. And we need to say uh, no to it and, you know, move away from it. So that's what we've got to say today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Defund the police. That's what they're talking about at Black Lives Matter at the moment. We're going to talk about it on tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Well, they want us to defund the police. Now, you know, I am not going to say that I love everything about the police. Sometimes they can be um, a little over um, zealous in their duties, and uh, you know, I'm not one. Who, I'm not one who's a fan of getting like say. A, a speeding fine for doing like 63 in a 60 zone and believe me I've got a couple you know what I mean like they sit there sometimes on the road and it's revenue raising and you know sometimes they just hassle people too much and, you know, and, and I'm not saying that occasionally they maybe don't hassle ethnic minorities a little too much than they should this does go on and there is room for improvement within the police absolutely but the idea of defunding the police is one of the most ridiculous ideas I've ever heard in the history of ridiculous ideas. And uh, obviously, um, people on the left who are, who are behind this idea, they want to defund the police, but they, they believe that funds will be better spent by investing them in, in ethnic communities. And I, I, I don't know, maybe there's some slight truth that maybe there could be more social work that could help some of these communities. But the idea that you um, weaken the police at a moment when we're on the verge of almost societal chaos or societal collapse is, is a complete... Um, 
idiotic idea. And I think that's the idea that they're pushing. They're almost talking of removing um, American police department's resources to the point where the, where the police department becomes a kind of non-entity. And obviously the elite likes this because the elite can afford its own private security. And that's the thing we should know about, you know, if there's no police, something will fill the vacuum. And that will be private security and it, it will also for, uh, uh, take the form of local gangsters. They will become local gangsters. I don't know if you've ever been to Africa. I've been to Africa. I went to Uganda in 2009 for a couple of months. And um, basically the way Uganda works, uh, it works, pick it up north, it works along a system of gangsterism. There's like a local, you know, power guy who's, you know, basically, and if you're in with him, everything's good. You know what I mean? And, you know, and when we were up there, I always, I always bought this guy. I knew who this guy was in town. And every night we would have dinner with this guy and I bought him his meals which were like, like two or three dollars to buy. But believe me, that, just doing that, showing that level of respect to a gangster, he loved me, you know, and he, in, if, if anyone ever threatened me or if I was ever in any trouble up there, my life was going to be saved. But you have to understand that's the way things work when there is no police, because there was no police in northern Uganda. Um, you know, so, you know, that's the situation. You know, I mean, you return the world to basically the state of nature. I don't know if many of you have read the uh, political philosopher Thomas Hobbes. He um, wrote a, a book called Leviathan, where he, he said that the state of nature is, I don't, can't remember the exact Latin, but it's quite beautiful. It's bonum or something, I can't remember, but I'll maybe put it on screen later. But um, it's quite beautiful, the Latin, but um, it's the war of all against all. That's the state of nature, all right? And that's when you defund the police, that's what you've got. You've basically got a situation where it's gangsterism rules, complete anarchy, and eventually, if it's allowed to go far enough, it ends up in a kind of Mad Max kind of situation. And we don't want this, and we don't want our societies turned. You know, I mean, we all might have problems with the police, you know, maybe, you know, giving us fines a bit too much, or too many parking fines. We all have problems with the police. But, you know, the police should be reformed. They shouldn't be removed, or they shouldn't be defunded. I think that idea is absolutely ridiculous and absolutely poisonous. I just wanted to say that tonight on the report for Tiger Mountain. Reject the defund the police agenda. Thank you.